Hi, this is uh, Professor Wolber. Um, I've got a note-taking app open here. What I'm going to show you in this lesson is, is how to convert it from having a database that just resides on the device, so it's kind of private, to make it a shared database using this thing called TinyWebDB. Okay, so here's my app right now. I can kind of submit notes, um, and you know, they, they list them there, uh, but everything's just on, on the phone. Okay, so if, if there was two people and I wanted to share notes, it, it wouldn't work. So what we're going to do is use, this, um, use a component called TinyWebDB. And let me get back to the designer here. The first thing you need to do is add a TinyWebDB component. And it's in other stuff, okay. Uh, right now I'm going to keep TinyDB as well, but you know eventually I will just have the TinyWebDB, okay. So now that I've got a component, you can notice one thing here that's very important is the URL, the service URL, this is this is kind of this default service URL setup and this is where your data will actually get stored. Uh, it's really just for testing and you can build your own um, but I'll have to show you that uh, in the next lesson. So let's go back to the blocks editor. Now that we've got this tiny WebDB component set up um, and pretty much store value is exactly the same with TinyWebDB as TinyDB. Okay, so I'm going to grab TinyWebDB store value, um, but instead of storing to a database on the device, this is going to store it directly um, on the web. Okay, so I'm just going to do this first thing. So kind of when a user submits a note, I'm going to store the value both in the device on the phone, which we'll get rid of later, and on the web. Okay, so let's go back to the emulator um, that's running, and let me enter another note. Okay, and I'll click Submit. And this is going to list up the, the things I have, but now we can go to the web, and we should be able to see this exact um, uh, thing on, on the web. So I'm going to open another web page. Okay, and I'm going to grab the URL from the designer. So, sorry, let me get back to my App Inventor designer. And this URL is this guy. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come here. And what you're going to see is the data we just added is now on the web. This is kind of a public user interface to see what's there. Okay, but if I call get value. And if you remember my tag for my note list, um, was notes. Okay, so if I put in a low, lower score, lowercase notes, call get value, and you'll see all my notes that got put in. So I just stored my whole list of stuff to tiny WebDB which really put it on the web at this kind of default app inventor setup location. But I've stored something to the web, so that's, that's a start. Okay, in the next lesson, you know, I'll show you how to make it so you can also retrieve the stuff from the web, and then we'll have this shared app.